sana mtazamaji kwa kuchagua taarifa zetu karibu kwenye taarifa kamili. Visa vingine vipya kumi na viwili vya maambukizi ya COVID-19 nchini vimedhibitishwa hii leo na kufikisha jumla ya maambukizi hadi 246. Waziri wa Afya Mutai Kagwe alitoa taarifa hii alipoungana na mawaziri wenzake Daktari Fred Matiango Usalama na James Mashari wa Uchukuzi katika uwanja wa ndege wa Jomo Kenyatta kupokea shehena ya vifaa vya matibabu kutoka Uchina kusaidia katika kupambana na janga la corona. This is a unique and outstanding performance. Uh, we were getting desperate for some of the items that um, are, are on this flight and we are glad to see that uh, the cooperation across all government agencies is what is going to help us in winning this uh, war against this deadly epidemic. Uh, just for the record, on this flight, we have been informed that we have got half a million, half a million uh, uh, three-ply masks. We have got 200,000 testing and sampling tubes. And this is a very important thing. These 200,000 sampling um, uh, tubes are key to our ability to mass test Kenyans. Without these sampling tubes, we would not be able, and we were not going to be able uh, to start our mass testing uh, capability. But with these tubes now, we are able to fast track. We also have uh, uh, some 4,000 shoe covers for operations with our frontline Uh, health workers, 3, 300 static shoes which are used in theaters by our doctors. We have got 76,000 N95, this is this kind of a mask, um, N95 face, uh, masks, and we also have face visors by those uh, that are used by doctors. Uh, in the next flight, there will be additional ventilators uh, and so on and so forth. So all I'm saying is that um, we are really grateful that uh, Kenya Airways has been able to, to, to come on board and assist us to the extent that uh, they have. We have developed protocols with them on how to travel, on how to quarantine themselves, uh, the, the crew, uh, when they come and when they go, they know what to do. So we are uh, happy about what is happening. And this is because, as you know, what lies ahead, what lies ahead is a challenge. And everybody knows that. In fact, today, for example, even as we continue testing, because we are still uh, carrying out the, the sampling tests in, um, in our laboratories. Normally, I would make this announcement sometime at about uh, 3 o'clock by when we have got all the samples. But today, because of this particular uh, conference, we will not be having another, another conference. But as we stand right now, at this hour, we have already tested, we have already tested about 450 samples. Out of these 450 samples, we have already um, we have already got 12, 12 positive cases, and we have not finished the day. And uh, five, for example, are hotel workers, and uh, another four uh, from our sampling, from our contact tracing, tracing capability. What this tells you is that um, we need to really, really uh, start uh, the testing capacity so that the contacts of those people who are positive can also be tested and therefore we can be able to maintain and contain um, uh, the epidemic. So on our part, again, thank you very much, uh, KQ. Let's continue uh, doing this, let's continue. Uh, thank you very much, uh, CS Macharia, um, for the effort I know that you have put in place and how much you have fought. Na waziri wa usalama wa ndani Daktari Fred Matiange amesema serikali za kaunti zina jukumu kubwa katika kukabiliana na virusi vya corona. Amesema ni muhimu kwa serikali za kaunti kutenga vituo vya kuwatenga walio na virusi vya corona. Matiange alikuwa akizungumza katika uwanja wa ndege wa Jomo Kenyatta wakati walipopokea ufadhili wa Uchina. Farm that uh, we are doing everything we can uh, to enforce the curfew, to enforce the guidelines that we have been given by the Ministry of Health, and we will step up what we need to do to ensure that we keep our people safe. A lot of people have been asking, are we prepared uh, for more challenges? The answer is yes, we are stepping up preparations uh, in the event, and we pray, we keep praying to the Lord that we don't get there, 
But uh, looking at what is happening around the world, we have reason to be concerned, we have reason to be prepared. Our plan with the county governments is working. County governments working with county commissioners have been asked to put aside isolation centers in the event that we need them. From next week, teams are going to go out. We have confirmations about isolation centers that have been set out in every county across the country. But we would like to now do a final review of these centers so that we are sure that in the event that we need more capacity, we can provide that capacity. Secondly, we will have a second round of uh, coordination meetings with the county government next week so that we can address some of the challenges the governors are facing. Yesterday, a meeting between His Excellency the President and the Chair of the Council of Governors, uh, Governor Oparanya, listed certain things that we need to work on between now and early next week to ensure that we support the county government effectively to address the challenges we face. Uh, the directive to enable county governments to procure face masks and PPEs uh, from uh, manufacturers locally is something we will all support and ensure that we equip county governments and county uh, environments to deal with some of these uh, issues. Uh, I now can confirm that we have been advised by our colleagues in the Ministry of Trade that uh, we will have enough uh, face masks in the country and we will support each other as uh, we have indicated even we from the security sector when we have enough masks we will share some of them to you know Kenyans who need them including uh, our border border uh, riders across the country this is the time for all of us to work hard and lastly let me say something that my colleague has pointed out to me this morning that we now need to pay special attention to what happens at our border points and announce that effective next week we are going to begin a new review of uh, all our border points across uh, the board. We have teams going out, uh, you know, from uh, later this weekend to begin a new review of our entry points at the borders from Namanga, Taita Taveta, uh, across the board to be sure that we are following the protocols that are necessary so that we don't necessarily focus just on Nairobi and the three counties uh, in the coast region of the country and then forget uh, other places where we are likely to have challenges. No aircraft, passenger aircrafts are landing as of now. I think it's a long, long, long time since we saw this uh, Jomo Kenyatta Airport, and it's because the enforcement of no passenger flight flights has been enforced very, very strictly to make sure that we deal with this pandemic. I would like to thank um, the crew who flew to China, Guangzhou, to bring this medical surprise. As you know, they made a big sacrifice they are actually on 25 percent pay and they managed to agree to fly to china to bring this uh, this surprise which are badly required in our country we would like to seek the indulgence of all kenyans to have this give and take give and take uh, approach in terms of dealing with these matters kenya always is going to play a key role in terms of making sure that we get this badly required medical supplies in our country. There is another flight leaving tomorrow on Saturday to China to also bring medical supplies. And there will be many more to make sure that we provide the Ministry of Health with adequate capacity with what they require. Secondly, as you know, the economy must keep on running. And that's why in addition to the medical supplies, we are also having cargo flights. Many of you may have seen uh, recently, we dispatched a Dreamliner 787 to London Heathrow to take fresh produce, which will bring uh, the much required foreign exchange. This foreign exchange is what will help us in terms of making sure that we can accurately pay for this kind of supplies. Ingawa serikali ilifanikiwa kufunga ba mikahawa na maeneo mengine ya burudani huenda mpango huu ukakumbwa na changamoto katika mitaa ya mabanda ambako pombe haramu hupikwa na kuuzwa tulifanikiwa kuzuru kitongoji cha Soweto mtaa wa Kayole na kwa kutumia kamera za siri tukawa nasa walevi na wauza pombe haramu wakiendelea na shughuli zao bila kuzingatia masharti ya serikali kuhusu COVID-19 Ingawa mipango na shughuli za maisha zilivurugwa na ujio wa virusi vya corona Katika kitongoji cha Soweto mtaani Kayole ya elekea maisha kwa walevi na wagema haja yumbisho kwa lelote. Licha ya serikali kutunga na kutangaza masharti mengi yenye malengo ya kudhibiti kuenea kwa virusi vya corona, yote yanaonekana kupuuzwa. 
Kila mmoja hapa hubugia pombe bila ya kujali lolote licha ya uwezekano mkubwa wa kuambukizwa corona. Wameambiwa umwizi shika watu Tuliarifiwa kwamba wengi wa watu hawa hupuuza kanuni za serikali na badala yake kupendelea pombe haramu ya changaa kufuatia imani na taarifa za kupotosha kwamba unywaji wa changaa husaidia kupunguza makali ya COVID-19. Kauli na mtazamo unaopingwa na wataalamu. Afadhali e, corona itushike badala ya turuo na, na jaa kwa nyumba. Ukae kwa nyumba. Ukae kwa nyumba ukule nini? Hapa sote sote tumetegemea pombe ya jini ya kumekume, sivyo? Kwa hivyo mambo ya corona yamefanya. Virusi vya corona husambazwa sana kupitia matone ya mate. Hivyo basi ingetarajiwa kwamba wengi wa watu hawa wangejepusha kushiriki pombe kwa kutumia glasi moja. Mbali na kutokaribiana sana, lakini hawa na hofu kwa lolote. Shadrack Miti, Kiti News. Ila shaka inasikitisha mno mtazamaji kuona kwamba watu wanathamini kububujia mvinyo kuliko kufuata zile shiria ambazo zimekwa na serikali kwenye vita dhidi ya corona. Sasa hapo sijui tutapiga vipi vita hivi. Haya, serikali ya kaunti ya Isiolo imepokea vifaa vya kusaidia kukabiliana na virusi vya corona kutoka kwa shirika moja lisilo la serikali. Vifaa hivyo ambavyo ni pamoja na matangi 300, vitakasa mikono, sabuni na magwanda ya kuwakinga uhudumu wa afya vitasambazwa katika wadi kumi. Gavana wa kaunti ya Isiolo Mohamed Kuti amesema vifaa hivyo vitasaidia umma kukabiliana na virusi vya corona. leo ku respond kwa hii janga ya corona tumeweza kupatia Isiolo County vifaa tofauti vifaa ya kwanza ni kuhusiana na mambo ya vile community health worker anaweza kujikinga wakati anahudumia jamii mambo ya sanitizers mambo ya gloves mambo ya hand washing na pia kuwapatia information kuwa train na kuwapatia information education uh, communication materials ya kuwasaidia vile ya kueneza vile ya kujikinga na corona i want to assure you that it will go a long way in assisting our people fight this uh, menace uh, so i want to thank you once again on behalf of national government ya kwamba tuko pamoja na tutashirikiana kwa sababu hivi ni vita jamani hivi ni vita na lazima kila mmoja wetu ajitole kupigana na hii vita kazi muhimu sasa hata kabla hatujapata hatu kesi community health volunteer ni jeshi ambao watakuwa ndani ya mashinani kuangalia kwa sababu wako na thermometer sasa watapima temperature ya nyumba ile wanasimamia na watafunza watu habari ya corona mumeona iko wametengeneza sasa makaratasi ya kufundisha watu mambo ya corona how it is spread signs and symptoms how it is prevented huku hatua madhubuti zikizidi kuwekwa kupunguza maambukizi ya corona nchini sekta ya uchukuzi wa umma inakabiliana na changamoto nyingi mjini Nyeri magari aina ya siente yanayobeba abiria yanakaidi sheria ya kubeba abiria wachache bila kujali mapema leo hii commissioner wa kaunti hiyo Lifford Kibara akiandamana na kamanda wa polisi Adel Nyange wamezungumzia ukaidi huu wakisema kuwa hatua madhubuti zitachukuliwa kuna sekta ya uchukuzi ambaye inabeba abiria ndani hapa ya town na nje ya town eh, inaitwa Siensta wakanieleza kwamba wanakiuka maagizo yale tulikubaliana nayo sekta hii tumekuwa na wao na chairman yao wako hapa na tukakubaliana angalizi ndogo ziwe zikibeba watu watatu peke yake na hawa watu watatu wawe wamekeep distance social distance huko kwa gari hii lile wanakalia na pia wamebaa mast na washukuru kwanza kwa sababu mast 
mask wana, wanavaa mask vizuri na hata hapa ukiwaangalia wako na mask na sanitizers ziko kwa gari yao lakini mahali sasa tunaanza kupitana na wao ni kwa kutii ile sheria ambaye serikali imewapea na wana time asubuhi mapema saa moja, saa kumi na mbili wakati officers wametoka wale walikuwa wana implement curfew njioni wanajua wanaenda kubadilishana wanachukua fursa ile kubeba watu wengi na nimezungumza na wao na nimerudia hawa sababu hatutaweza kuendelea vile wao wanafikiria watafanya na sababu wanakiuka wanaanza kukeuka ile magano tuliweka ndio unaona nimeita officer wale wa traffic pamoja na county eh, police commander na ofisa wangu ule anashikilia lenjo ni wa NTSA tutaelekea sasa kufanya enforcement kwao ili waweze kujua si ati watafanya kazi ama waone kama sisi tumesahau vile tuliagana na wao Mwakilishwadi ya Morothile katika kaunti ya Mandera Abdullahi Yunis Guli ameitaka serikali ya kaunti ya Mandera kutenga fedha na rasil mali zaidi kwa ajili ya kupambana na virusi vya corona aidha amewataka wananchi kushirikiana na serikali katika kuyatekeleza masharti yote ili kufanikisha vita dhidi ya virusi hivyo I urge the county government of Mandera to channel its emergency resources to preventive and curative measures like purchasing face masks, hand sanitizers, other sanitary materials, testing kits, reagents, medical supplies, remunerating first responders like medical personnel and food staff for the most vulnerable members of the society as well as creating awareness on the disease. I also call upon members of the public to observe directives given by the presidency and Ministry of Health in compacting the COVID-19, including washing of hands for at least 20 seconds or sanitizing hands, social distancing, wearing of face masks, and most importantly, staying at home. Kwengine kwa kamati ya kushughulikia janga la corona katika kaunti ya Kwale imeonya kuwa huenda ikapiga marufuku shughuli za uchukuzi wa bodaboda baada ya kuibuka kwamba huduma wa bodaboda wanavukisha abiria kupitia vichochoro hadi kaunti jirani ya Mombasa. Kamishna wa kaunti hiyo Ngumo Karuku amesema huduma wa bodaboda wanaendelea kukiuka amri ya kutoingia katika kaunti jirani ili kusitisha maambukizi ya COVID-19. Amesema iwapo ataendelea kutoheshimu amri hiyo kamati hiyo itafutilia mbali utumizi wa bodaboda katika kaunti hiyo. Vile vile gavana wa kaunti hiyo Salim Mvuri amesema wameruhusu baadhi ya chimbo za mawe na mchanga kuanza shughuli zao baada ya kufuata masharti ya corona yaliyotolewa. Wanapitisha watu katika jia panda yani panya roots. Na tunakubaliana ya kwamba tutatoa onyo kwa watu ya bodaboda katika kaunti ya Kwale wakiendelea kuwa wajeuri hivyo tutapiga marufuku utumiaji wa bodaboda boda katika kaunti yetu tumepokea ripoti kutoka kwa public health na tukatosheka kwamba zile timbo ambazo zimetimiza masharti zinaweza kuendelea na zile zingine ambayo walipatiwa masharti ndio hiyo kanuni zitatumwa kwa machief na public health on the ground ili watembee watathmini wewe wewe ulisemekana uweke ndoo ya maji uliweka kama wajaweka waweke na kama wajatimiza hatutafungua na huko Samburu ni kwamba huduma boda boda katika kaunti hiyo imepokea mafunzo ya kujitunza pamoja na wateja wao wakati huwa janga la corona ikiwa hili ni kundi lilo kwenye hatari kubwa ya maambukizi ni mafunzo ya kwanza kabisa kuwahi kufanyika kwa hudumu hao wakati huu wa virusi vya corona wamekuwa hawana ufahamu wa jinsi ya kutangamana na wateja wao na vile vile matumizi ya bidhaa muhimu kama vile barakoa na vitakasa mikono Hakikisha wakati tunabeba yeye amevaa mask hizo nazo leo za fumigation ama mafusho ya ofisi za Tawasako na kwanza nianze kushukuru Tawasako sana kwa sababu hawa ndio wa kwanza eh, kusaidia raia 
na tumechukua hii fursa kuwakaribisha wana boda boda wote ndio tuwasaidie kufanya fumigation kama jukumu kwa tawa sako kwa sababu pia sisi tuna jukumu la kufanya katika society kulingana kupigana na hii janga lenye limetupata tumefanya fumigation kwa banking hall kwa pia wajirani wetu na tukaarika pia wana boda boda wote Mamia familia katika mtaa mmoja wa eneo la injinia huko Kinangop zinakabiliwa na changamoto kadhaa huku nyingi zikitabika hata kupata lishe hali hii imekuwa mbaya zaidi kwani hata vibarua sasa havipatikani kutokana na janga la corona baadhi ya wenyeji wanasimulia magumu wanayopitia kila siku na kwa sasa hawafahamu hatma yao <tos> ndio tumefurahia bishop kairo ametujali na tumepata unga na ndio umeona nimepika hiyo unga hiyo unga tu nimeleta ndio nimepika na ndio watoto wanakula kwa hivyo tunamrudishia shukurani na hata serikali tujali pia sisi na tulipata ya bishop sasa usaidisi ya bishop sasa tujui sasa tunapata ya nani kesho sasa tunatarajia tu wasar maria mwema kuja tusaidie saa hii kukisemekana tukae kwa nyumba badala mtu atoke kwa nyumba tu aende na miguu abache hiyo watoto wasikari wakuje wachukue watoto wasaidie kwa sababu sisi hatuna usaidisi mwingine hata saa hii mama wengine wameanza kutoroka wenye wanaikuwa na usa baa kwa hii town Wamaacha watoto wanatuachia kwa broti na mtu ujui mama yake ameenda wapi. Kwa sababu watoto wanalidia kwa nyumba wana kitu mtoto anaweza kula. Sasa ni kuamua aende asiane watoto wake wakikufa njaa. Nataka niwaombe wote wa Kristo wakatii tuko nyumbani. Serikali yetu tuisikize. Naona Mungu anatumia hii serikali kwa wakati huu kama nabii. Watuambie vile tutakavyofanya ili tujiepushe na hili janga la corona. Serikali nasema tukae manyubani, tuvae maski kama vile nimefaa, tuoshe mikono kwa sabuni, tufanye social distancing. Tuingie manyubani saa moja, tutii masaya kafio. Tukifanya hivyo, tutakuwa tunajisaidia sisi wenyewe. Na tutashida hii janga haraka sana. Kwa hivyo naomba yote tukubali kutii serikali. Serikali ya kaunti ya Nyandarua imependekeza bajeti ya milioni nane kupambana na virusi vya corona. Milioni mbili na kumi zitatakiwa kutoka kwenye mfuko wa kaunti huku zingine zikitarajiwa kutoka kwa serikali kuu na wahisani. Pesa hizo zitatumika kuimarisha hali ya mahospitali na zingine kuelekezwa kutoa msaada wa chakula kwa wasiojiweza. <coughs> We will we will distribute to the health centers we will distribute we will give preference to the border borders who are carrying out our residents so we should be able to do that with effect from tomorrow those that can be distributed today will be distributed and we are also making arrangements to buy masks for the border borders and we are hoping that in a week's time we will be able to get 10,000 masks that we can be able to give to our residents. I want to thank uh, the people of Nyandarwa for the cooperation they have uh, given so far in the implementation or enforcement of the various directives that have been issued by the Minister of Health. However, I want to indicate that as we implement the directives, we are facing various challenges that uh, requires the support of the same people from Nyandarwa for us to be seen.